I'm not the first person to think of a personal connection between two Street Fighter characters that wouldn't otherwise be obvious to the casual gamer. However, I am the first person to make a video on these two in particular. In this video, I'm going to explain why I believe Karin Kanzuki, head of the Kanzuki Zaibatsu, and Sakura Kasagano's main rival, and Ingrid, the goddess of eternal sunshine, are in fact one and the same. To start, we have to look at the origins of their names and try to find parallels. The name Ingrid is a derivative of the name Ingui, which is an older name for the Norse god Frey, god of, among other things, sunshine, fair weather, and fertility. You may recognize the name as the main part of his somewhat more recognized twin sister, Freya, who is also the Norse goddess of fertility. While their names come from completely separate etymologies, this is unimportant in the grand scheme of figuring out the link between Karin and Ingrid, so bear with me here. What is important is that Ingrid's background is Nordic in origin and shares similarities with Karin's background, which I will address soon. As for Karin, her full name is rife with meaning. Her family name, Kanzuki, literally translates in English to Moon Goddess, an obvious parallel to Ingrid's sun motif. In Street Fighter V, it is even mentioned by her butler Shibasaki that she has plans for a space colony. Certainly, Ingrid and Karin could be considered the sun and the moon by Street Fighter standards, and we could end it there. However, it's not Karin's family name, but her given name, that makes the parallels more obvious. Karin is a type of quince in Japan, and specifically the Chinese quince. Since the origin of the Korean fruit is Chinese, we would have to look at Chinese culture to find any similarities between Nordic and Chinese cultures, and lo and behold, we have the Trees of Life Yggdrasil from Norse mythology and Fusan from Chinese mythology. However, I hit a dead end when researching these trees, as Fusan produced mulberries and Yggdrasil didn't seem to produce fruit at all. It was then I discovered I was looking at it all wrong. I needed to focus on the quince in general. As it turned out, quinces are part of golden apple myths. It's been said that a quince is likely the fruit that Eve ate before she and Adam were kicked out of the Garden of Eden. The quince is also likely to be Eris's famous apple of discord from Greek mythology. More importantly, though, is the role that golden apples, most likely quinces, play in Norse mythology. They are most associated with the goddess Idun and are the source for the gods' youth and immortality. In Richard Wagner's music drama Das Rheingold, however, her origin is attached to another goddess, Freya. Through Wagner's piece, we have the connection between the Quince and Nordic mythology and is the first piece to figuring out if Karin and Ingrid are the same person. Next, we have to look at the characters themselves. Names aside, neither character seems to have anything in common with the other at first glance. Even their physical statures are different. Karin comes in at either 5'3 or 5'4 and a consistent 130 pounds or 89 kilograms. Ingrid, on the other hand, is either 5 feet or 5 foot 10 and a half and ranges between 86 or 108 pounds or between 39 and 49 kilograms. This is a huge range. However, as Matt Pat from Game Theory explains in his video Chun-Li's Deadly Helicopter Kick, in Street Fighter, the official heights and weights of the characters fluctuate quite a bit between installments in the series. So quite simply, the physical statures of the characters really don't matter in the long run. So what about their personalities? Well, both share personality traits in that each enjoy the thrill of battle, are considered easygoing, friendly characters with disdain for evil, Ingrid with the Satsui no Hado and Karin with Shetlu, and even display something of a lust for power. Take Ingrid's creation of Pandora in Street Fighter Cross Tekken, and apparent creation of Psycho Power in Street Fighter Alpha 3 Max, and Karin's hostile takeover of her family Zaibatsu in Street Fighter V for examples of this. There's even an interesting quote in Street Fighter V. Karin, after she beats Delsim, states, Kanzuki Ryu has its own secret levitation technique, you know. She has not displayed this technique in any game she's been in. But Ingrid has. Her fighting moves are more inspired by ballet, but she floats when she fights, giving more credence to the fact that Ingrid is using Kanzuki Ryu in its maximum form. Combine this with the fact that Ingrid is, in canon, from the future, and we can make the statement that Ingrid is Kareen from the future. However, there is one final piece of the puzzle. What happened to Kareen to turn her into Ingrid? The answer is in Ingrid's theme song, Heat Haze. YouTubers Brandon Tam and Ryan S. translated the lyrics into English, and the link to the lyrics and song are below. Take a look at some of the translated lyrics and you'll see a pattern. Here's 
remembering the past and blotching it away, and most telling, the heat haze of spring. Why is that important? Consider that heat haze is a synonym of a mirage or an illusion, and in Japan, one of the hallmarks of spring is the blooming of cherry blossoms. Illusions? Cherry blossoms? Heat haze isn't about Ingrid, it's about Sakura. Ingrid is being nostalgic for the time she shared with her buddy and fighting rival. She misses Sakura. So the question shouldn't be, what happened to Kareen? The question should be, what happened to Sakura? Based on the evidence I could find, here is my final theory on what happened to Sakura and the origin of Ingrid. Sakura falls under the influence of the Satsue no Hado, and Kareen finds a way to defeat her while she's under its influence. Ingrid's battle with evil Ryu in Street Fighter Alpha 3 Max is the connection. She is able to beat evil Ryu at his maximum power because she did it while facing off against Dark Sakura. Although it is impossible to determine what happened to Sakura after the battle, based on the emotional lyrics of Heat Haze, something very traumatic happened, so it's safe to assume that Sakura dies after the fight. Affecting her tremendously, Kareen decides to completely change herself and spends part of her family fortune to become a messenger from the stars and time traveler before turning her back on her life of luxury completely. She changes her name to Ingrid to wipe away any traces of her past life and fights every day to keep the memories of her past from affecting her, even choosing to adopt the sun motif as direct opposition to her past life. However, since it's also implied that she's being directed by someone else on her time traveling missions, she must return to the past to confront the people who she has met before under her new guise, which also explains in story why her only dialogue is towards Ryu, Rose, and Bison in Alpha 3 Max. Ryu is under mind control and isn't likely to recognize her. Rose can't see her past or her future because she is the future. And Bison doesn't know that Kareen and Ingrid are the same and likely never will, so her past incarnation was more or less safe from harm. If Ingrid started talking to Sakura and her past self, though, she would start a time paradox that would utterly ravage the Street Fighter universe. Rose in the Udon Street Fighter comics even says that changing the future has consequences. Ingrid knows this all too well, and does everything she possibly can to avoid this from happening. One final thought, and this goes out to MatPat over at Game Theory. In your channel's four-year history, you only had one theory related to Street Fighter, and it took you two years for that one. I'm challenging you to expand on this one. Whether you feel I'm right or wrong, I want to know what you think, and with the resources you have, you will no doubt do a far better job at researching than I did. So for those of you who are watching this video, do me a favor and tweet it to at MattPatGT with either the hashtag KareenIsIngrid or hashtag KareenIsNotIngrid and get his attention. Hopefully we'll get a more high production video that everyone can enjoy.